welcome back to everything fly fishing. Now I know I said I wasn't posting until Sunday. It's raining. I didn't go back to work. And this one, we have a really cool guest star tire. That's right. We did a collab with Carl. And so Carl's going to show you how to tie a grip for snack. And if you want to do this with our on our channel and be part of our channel, then hey, we'll tell you at the end of the video. But for now, take it away, Carl! Get a grip on your bad self, learn to love the game. Get on down to the roulette wheel And pray that the end comes and wheels will win its way and the hotel's not alive And the mystery's not the why Oh no and Silk is not the cry No, it's the love And it's the love Go check out the rise and fly company dot com for all your fly fishing needs. That's www.riseandfly.com. Go check them out today. Now, back to our program. Hello, everybody. I am fixing to tie up a Griffiths net. As you can see, I've already got a size 14 hook in here. And I mashed the barb. So it makes it easier to get out of the fish's mouth. And I'm using Danville's 7 aught thread. And I've already wrapped it up around. Got a few steps ahead of myself here before I started my video. But I'm not going to back it up. Anyways, I started it on the hook about a eye hook, hook width away from the front of the hook here. And wrapped it all the way down to the bend of the hook. And now I'm fixing to seal, put on some Sally Hansen's hard as nails. Diamond strength, hard as nails. That's just so when I place on the peacock hurl that they tend to stay there. As per the trout decide that they want to eat these things up and they do love them. Anyways, I'm fixing to place on two peacock curl here. Two peacock curl. I'm going to tie them in with the peacock curl on my side of the hook. Tie them towards the back. Wrap it all the way up to the front. Tie them right on down really, really well. Just up there to the front where you started your thread. And return it back, return your thread back down towards the bend of the hook again. Then you're going to want to get yourself some hackle. I'm using some barbed hackle here. And make sure I gauge this. Make sure you gauge your feathers. As everybody hounds and whatnot, and I don't know if you could see it or not, but yeah, I'm right there, right around 12, 14, which is good. I'm going to tie this in. After I pull down a few of the feathers here, 
these barbules. You want to take and grab a few of those, pull them off at a 90 degree angle off the barb, and I'm going to give them a haircut. And when I tie it on my hook here, those barbules give a little bit of extra strength and tend to make it hold a lot, whole lot easier. Well, again, I'm going to take this feather and I'm going to put it on a, put it on here, and give it a couple of wraps around there, around that shaft, and. Tie that all the way up. Again, I'm going to make sure I'm going to give this another light coating of Sally Hansen's here. And then I'm going to proceed. On wrapping my peacock curl right on around this hook starting right where the peak the the hackle is and work my way up to the front of the hook I'm hoping you all could see this. Whoop, whoop, ep, 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 it got away from me. Well, I'm going to have to use my hackle pliers. It got away from me, so I got to use it. And it broke, of course. Not an issue. Just wrap that bugger right on around there. There we go. We got her now. Keep on wrapping that right up towards the front of the hook. Right to where you started your thread and bring your thread right on over it and lock it down. There we go. Wrap it down over the back. Take a couple of wraps in the front. Hold everything all down there. Now you're going to take, want to take and wrap your hackle right around the back side here first. Give it one good wrap right around the, right where you started your peacock curl. Give it one good wrap right there. And then proceed on wrapping all the way up in some open wraps. Wrap it right on up there. And there we go. There we go. Wrap got got a couple of wraps around there. Don't cut your thread. Cut off your hackle there. Pull everything back. And give yourself a good head on there. Wrap it around a couple of times. 
it's your whip finisher wrap it on around a couple three or four times whoops whoops you can also give it a couple of half hitches if you want to but I find that this whip finishing makes everything a lot more solid here here we go cut off your excess thread and I use this five second fix give it a little bit of a head there Spread that on around with a toothpick or bobbin, bobkin. Seal it up. And there you go. Very easy to fly. Doesn't take very long to make it. Very, very easy. Get this out of my fingers here. See if we can get you guys to see this a little better than what I have in my fingers. And there you go. Nice little fly, Griffiths Nat. Number 14 hook, two peacock curls. And a hackle. Now you can use these in a variety of different colors. Green is the best. Uh, this one here I just used just to show you, you know, a little bit clearer. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And again, Happy fishing. Tight lines, everybody. Hello! I hope you liked that video. Thank you, Carl. Now, I promised you I'd tell you. Um, Carl got out of this video. He became a patron. <coughs> Excuse me. And when you become a patron, you would have seen this video on our Patreon feed where you could post your pictures, your videos, or send them to me, and you could be a big guest star on our show as a tire. Send me your fishing videos. You can be a guest, and we can do a collab for a show. And so if you want to be a guest star on the show, or featured tire, or anything like that, all you do is join our Patreon and then message me and tell me that hey I would like to feature a, a video on your YouTube channel and we'll make that happen and even if you don't want to be a star a guest star on the show go down and make sure you check out our Patreon the beginning thing is a buck a month cheap you get special features um, special pod or live streams, all kinds of stuff. So it's really cool. So go check that out. And uh, it's really uh, neat that you can, I can use your videos and stuff on our show. It's really neat that I can have guest tires. And Carl Dennis is our first one. And uh, yeah, really cool. Thank you, Carl, for that video. And yeah. Uh, Carl, you can put your message down. If you want people to get a hold of you on this video, you could put any information below, and that's up to him. I won't put his information or anything on him. I let him do that on the comments below. If he wants you to get a hold of him on Facebook, talk to him. Uh, Adam's a friend, whatever. He'll let you know in the comments. And Carl, don't forget to do that. Leave a thing in the comments if you want people to know how to get a hold of you. 
and uh, thank you for watching our video this is a rain day video and like I said if you're watching this today make sure you will know our new posting schedules every Sunday we will make a new video on a new format we're gonna kinda do it TV style and don't forget to like this video and please don't forget to subscribe you don't want to miss any of these just featured tire videos and stuff so subscribe and have a good day and thank you for watching our videos hey welcome to another video where well, you can t see our time videos here our fishing videos here a video just for you there subscribe down there and keep your lines wet and out of them trees and only give them fish a sore lip